The purpose of this StatCrunch video is to discuss the Mann-Whitney test and its application within StatCrunch. The Mann-Whitney test is a non-parametric test used to compare the medians of two populations when independent samples are taken from those populations. The type of data that can be used with the Mann-Whitney test is either interval ratio in nature or ordinal. If the data is interval ratio, the data must be non-normal in order to apply the Mann-Whitney test, otherwise we would prefer to use the t-test. So what we have in this example is we have hemoglobin levels of lab animals. We have one group that was exposed to prolonged inhalation of cadmium oxide, while the second group was unexposed. And the researcher would like to address the question of whether the exposure to cadmium oxide causes decreased hemoglobin level. Now, since this variable that was collected is interval ratio, to know that the Mann-Whitney test is the appropriate form of inference, we must first determine whether our sample observations seem to come from a normal distribution or not. So to do this, we could create histograms of our two hemoglobin levels and see what type of shape we have. In looking at the two histograms, we have our exposed animals on the left, we have the unexposed sample on the right, and neither one of the histograms really appears to follow a symmetric bell-shaped curve. So since we cannot assume that the population of hemoglobin levels for the two types of animals are normally distributed, it's not safe to proceed with the t-test. Instead, we'd like to use some other inferential technique, namely the Mann-Whitney test. So in order to do the Mann-Whitney test in StatCrunch, we need to go to the Stat menu, followed by Non-Parametric. And you'll see that the third test given in the list is the Mann-Whitney test. Now, in the box that pops up, you'll really see some similarities to the t-test that we've done previously in that you have to select what columns contain your two samples. So for our purposes, we'll say that sample one consists of those animals exposed to cadmium oxide and group two consists of those animals that are unexposed. Now, for this purpose, the research question was that those exposed should have lower hemoglobin levels than those that are unexposed. So if we click Next, we're going to have to change our alternative hypothesis to be a less than hypothesis because we would like to show that group one, our unexposed, excuse me, our exposed animals is less than group two, our unexposed animals. So by selecting our less than alternative and then clicking calculate, so you'll see in the results that pop up that it does point out that we are now comparing the median hemoglobin level of our two populations. And you'll notice in the box that we have a test statistic value of 145. We have a p-value of 0 .003. Now, in the problem that was given in the notes, I actually didn't give you a significance level, but that p-value of 0 .003 is less than any reasonable value of alpha that could be set. Therefore, we're going to reach the conclusion that we should reject our null hypothesis. So we're able to conclude that the median hemoglobin level of those animals exposed to cadmium oxide is actually less than the median level for those that are unexposed. Now, if you look in the packet of notes, there are details on how that test statistic was calculated, just to give you some insight into the structure of what the formula looks like. However, you'll never have to calculate one of those by hand. That was purely um, for your own information.